Hey guys, it's your girl Dwayna, aka Glamazon1026, and welcome to the Glam Room. Thank you for coming. If you are new, thank you for coming back if you are an old friend. So today we are going to be reviewing and demoing the Patricia Bright and Makeup Revolution collab. I have been on a no buy and she kind of broke the spell because I really wanted to um, support her. I really, really like her. I love her personality. Her videos are a little bit longer. You guys know I hate long videos, but if I'm doing something like laundry or cooking, I'll put it on and just like laugh because she is just such a joy. So I decided to buy all of this stuff and test it for you guys. So if you guys want to see what's going on, what's what, 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 what I recommend you should buy, Stay tuned. A little, you know, synopsis of my love or my admiration for Patricia Bright in the intro. So I'm gonna keep this pretty short. We're just gonna talk about the products and then go right into our swatches, demos, and then the wrap up at the end. So either late October or early November, Patricia Bright and Makeup Revolution came out with a collab and it is six pieces for your everyday life. Now they have two eyeshadow palettes, Rich in Color and Rich in Life, and then they have four face palettes, Moon Glow, Bright Summer, You Are Gold, and Dust Till Dawn. I purchased the Rich in Life palette. It has a lot more neutrals than the Rich in Color. And I did that because I had gotten the Norvina uh, collection the three Norvina collection palettes and I don't really need any more color palettes right now and so you know I love a warm neutral so that's that's what's close to my heart so I got the rich in life palette I also got two face palettes I got you are gold and I got dusk till dawn the palettes themselves retail for $25 and the face palettes are $12 each I got 10% off because I made Reggie buy them and he is a student so he used his student discount because you can do that at makeup revolution London so if you're a student, there you go, get your 10% off. They are on sale at Revolution Beauty and they are at Ulta, I'm not sure. I believe you can use your Ulta coupons with them because you can use your Ulta coupons with Makeup Revolution, but I don't know if they are available for um, like collabs. So don't quote me on that, but if you do have, if you can go and use your Ulta coupons, go use your Ulta coupons. I paid $6 for two day shipping, so I ordered it, I believe a Friday, and I got it the Monday. Either Thursday or Friday, and I got it the Monday. So the shipping is pretty quick too, and they have, um, tracking with the shipping so that's awesome i know sometimes when you're shipping from overseas you don't necessarily get tracking and just kind of shows up when it shows up but i had dhl express tracking and they sent me text and they sent me emails once they delivered it they took a picture and put it in the email and i was just like cool 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 i'm gonna go home i'm gonna pick up my palette blah 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 whatever whatever what have you i appreciate that thank you makeup revolution anyway let's open these up so that we can see exactly what we are working with today okay and it has a mirror so you guys know I love a mirror this is really great so some of these are shadows and some of these are pressed pigments um, I have used it on my eye look today and you'll see that a little bit later in the video then we have the two face palettes the first one I'm going to show you is dust till dawn this is a darker palette for like deeper skin babies so you have a blush a uh, bronzer and a highlighter and then we have the you are gold palette and this is the one that's a little bit lighter so if you watch any of Patricia's videos you know she sings a couple of songs while she's recording and you are gold is one of them so I really appreciated this palette and so um, she has two other face palettes, but those are for lighter skinned people, um, and so I didn't get those. We are done with the intro. Let's get ready to see some swatches.
I usually just do the swatches, not so that you can see how the shadows perform, just so that you can see all the colors. Swatches, while I think they're a really great tool for everybody, I believe that it doesn't matter what it swatches like on your arm without primer or with primer. It matters how it performs on your lids with primers with the techniques that you use. So while we're talking about that, let's get into the demo so that you guys can see how I came up with this look. We are starting this out using the ABH eyeshadow primer all over our lid. I'm picking up Try Me and putting that in the crease and in through the transition area. Next, I'm picking up No Drama and placing that on top of Try Me. I'm also going to go back and forth between No Drama and Try Me until I get a blend that I'm happy with. Now on a smaller brush, I'm using Never Say Never in the brow bone area to blend everything out. Using my ABH number three brush and some eyeshadow primer, I'm going to cut the crease. I'm picking up You Are Gold on a flat shader and putting that all over the lid and then blending No Drama into the back. Using some more eyeshadow primer to create a space for the wing. Now I'm going in with No Drama and Try Me to make it kind of like a smoky lash line. So now we're going to try the face palette. I'm going to use the bronzer in You Are Gold as a bronzer and then I'm going to use the bronzer in Dusk Till Dawn as powder contour so that we get the most out of everything that we've been doing thus far. I'm going to be mixing the two blushes to use today. They're both so pretty, I can't choose. And use the highlighter in Dust Till Dawn as my highlight. You know guys, I'm feeling the uh, colored liners right now, the colored smoked out liners. That's my thing right now. I don't care if it's nobody else's thing, it's my thing. I like it. So I decided to do that and I'm wearing the ABH Domina Lashes. This is their new, in their new lash collection that you can get wherever. On my lips is Chestnut by MAC, Honey Bullet Lipstick by ABH, and um, Spite Lip Glass by MAC. That's what this is. I rate palettes on a couple of things. The availability of a mirror the ease of use of the shades and its ability to travel. And I think that this palette hits all of those. Rich in life, because I don't have rich in color, and I might get rich in color, but I'm not really too sure. I really don't have any more space for makeup, so I really just need to stop buying, but I like buying things, so you know, whatever. Anyway, um, Rich in Life has a really good shade selection. It doesn't have every shade that you need. Like, I wish there was a purple, but she also has a, another palette, so she probably didn't need to put a purple in here. I get that. Um, but it has a, an, an, a red. I wish there was a red in this, too. But again, she has another palette, so she didn't need to put, she didn't need to duplicate a bunch of shades in this one that she did in that one. It's my bad for not getting both of them, right? Um, but I do think that you can travel with this. Like you can get really good eyeshadow looks from the colored, the color side of the spectrum and the neutral side of the spectrum with this one palette. I appreciate that. There's a black in here, which is great because I think every eyeshadow palette besides like pastel ones needs a black if you're going to travel with it. Um, there's a lot of transition shades. There's transition shades for darker skinned people. There's transition shades for lighter skinned people. So, you know, it's just, I think it, it it's very well-rounded. I really, really like this. I don't think I've liked a um, collab like this since Shayla's and Colourpop, the first one. I really like that one too. Um, so anyway, this is a great palette. I think that you should get it. Let's talk about the face palettes. So as you saw, I bronzed with the You Are Gold and then I contoured with um, Dust Till Dawn and I really love how it came out. I love it. I love how it came out. The highlighter on Dust Till Dawn is probably my favorite part of this palette. And the um, bronzer on this is really good too. So I feel like if I were to travel and I only wanted to take a few things, I could take these three palettes 
and that would be my makeup like my eyes face blah 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 makeup I probably would take like one more highlighter because you know I love me a highlighter on a scale of one to five I would give this collection a five because it hits all the marks that I needed to hit that I think about when I'm purchasing things. I don't need to add anything else to this palette. I love it when you can come up with complete cohesive looks, multiple complete cohesive looks with one palette and I think that this hits it. So if you like this video, and you better like this video, like this video, okay? Like it down below, hit that thumbs up button. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 1K by Christmas day. And make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you can be part of the Glam Fam and know exactly when I upload. Please do not forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Glamazon1026. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.